Hey, welcome back to KTOTD and today is sort of an exciting video. At least for me, I think it's exciting. If you have watched the Shane and Jeffrey series, um, I have too. And <laughs> I am actually very, very, a little bit weirdly obsessed with the whole thing. I religiously watched the whole series even when the series wasn't out yet, when they were just planning it, since the first series of Jeffrey and Shane. I'm just a big fan. I haven't done this in a while, but this is one of the collections or anything trending that I just knew I had to go with the flow. Without any further ado, we are going to do the... What is this? What is this exactly? Is this like a review? I don't think I should review. There's like thousands of reviews right now on YouTube and it's like my little Macau ass review would not mean shit. It's more like just me first impressioning, is that a word? First impressioning the whole um, collection and just doing a look with it and just trying it firsthand. I actually filmed when I first got the boxes and I'm going to play it right now. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's here, it's finally here, beautylish. I actually got it delivered to my sister's house. Nightly is shook. And, well, let's bring the summer brighter. Gosh. This is how big this box is. We're gonna open this one first. And I think I know which one this is. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Actually, should I open the others first? Should I open the big ones first? Should I get a knife? I guess the only thing from buying in Beautylish instead of Jeffree Star Cosmetics is that we don't get the same pink box but oh well I think this is good enough oh my god oh my gosh okay so I was wondering uh, if the other big box had the two mirrors why did I have another big box under my name? I have no idea, but I had the makeup bag and the mini controversies right there. The thing is, guys, I did not order these, which is making me a little bit concerned. I do know that my sister did order them, but the package is under my name. So I'm not quite sure what happened there. We're gonna figure it out, but this looks iconic and I'm gonna not open this yet because I'm not sure it might not be mine and I don't wanna like intrude in her package. So Ooh. let's open the last one. So before we open the conspiracy, I wanna show you the mirrors. I bought the bundle, so I have both. I'll give one, I'll give the black one to my sister because I want the iconic pink pink for sure. Whoa, it's bigger than I expected. Whoa, that is huge. That is as big as my face. Wow. Can you see yourself? Hey, <laughs> we are going to open mine now. Oh my gosh. That's so beautiful. Ah! Okay, it's alive. It's as big as my face. Beautylish. Give me my palette, give me my oh, It's so beautiful. Oh. oh my god. I can't even tell you how unreal this feels. Okay, back to me in the future. So I would say that I got like 75-80% of the collection. Makeup wise, I just did not get the gloss and the balm. Unfortunately, they were sold out very fast. I'm actually gonna go more in depth with like how the order process went and the story of our failures and success during the ordering um, in another video in which I would be doing a get ready with me using the collection with my sister style chip. Welcome back to my channel! So yeah, stay tuned for that one. This is the conspiracy palette. Oh. It's just crazy to have it physically on hand 
right now. You've just been watching this and then a week later they're selling it out and I don't know, it's just crazy that I finally have this in my hands. And I'm gonna show you a full swatch later on of all the shades. But yeah, let's open her up. Let's open her up. Like everyone's favorite part is removing the plastic. Flawless. I've had my orders since like um, two days ago and I was so tempted to just dive in and just swatch everything and just touch it. But I really tried my best not to do so for this video. So yeah, this is really like all first time, first impression. So the shades, we all know, they look gorgeous. The first row, even though people are saying that it's, you know, kind of boring, I think that this is the most wearable out of all the Jeffree Star that I have, honestly. I definitely want to dive into colors like Conspiracy, What's the Tea, you know, the weird colors that I've never really seen before in eyeshadow form. And I also have the Mini Controversy. At first, when I saw this, I was just like, it's a pretty palette. It's beautiful, beautiful colors. I love the unicarton, the static motion thing, whatever, and then you have the holo static inside. It's just a beautiful palette, but I didn't necessarily think that I needed it. I was like, oh, I'm fine if that sold out and I didn't get to have it. My sister was kind enough to buy me my own, and yeah, when I saw it in person, my gosh, it is beautiful. The shade that got me the most is probably exposed. I, I'm just so drawn into like pinks and this is more like a lavender pinkish color and that I've never really seen. I did get the lip bundle but it's not here yet and like I said I'm going to tell you the story of why some orders are not here yet um, during the get ready with me with my sister. But I did get the pig mirror bundle as well. So we are going to start with the look and quite honestly I have no idea what look I'm going to do. If you hear that siren, I'm so sorry. So annoying. There's, I'm filming in the afternoon and there's just so much things happening. There's a crying dog outside. There's an ambulance outside. I'm going to prime my eyes. Urban Decay. The moment we've all been waiting for. The moment that I saw them swatching it, like the third episode, I think. Um, the one that really grabbed my attention was ranch and also pigment. Pigment is like such a standard millennial type of pink that I just had to have and for some reason I don't have yet. Those are the ones that I'm so excited for. I know that a lot of people are um, raving around about the food videos and sleep paralysis was one of the latest colors that they've shown and it looks amazing. Like it looks beautiful. We're gonna start with the shade Tanacon and I'm just going to apply this like just a clear wash. Oh, that's so pretty already. Just a clear wash around the whole lid. I do get the some of the reviews. They said that it was very like um, there's a lot of fallout and it's chalky. But honestly, personally, I don't really care about that. I feel like all palettes, especially very pigmented palettes, they would automatically do that. I don't know. It just makes sense to me. And then I think we're gonna go into shade... <laughs> Let's go into shade Spiraling. It seems a little bit shimmery, but oh well. Just right under Tanacon. I kinda wanna try Ranch. So we're going with Ranch and I'm gonna apply that on the brow bone. Okay, now we're gonna go... Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna cut the crease now. Let's see what we could dive into. I kinda wanna use Illuminati and put that on the outer corner. Oh wow. And now I kinda wanna add Let's add Conspiracy, the shade. Actually, let's add What's the Tea. This is so gorgeous. I've never seen a color like this. Gonna tuck this in beside... What did I put? Beside Illuminati. What's the Tea to Illuminati. Now we're gonna go into Conspiracy. 
This is so gorgeous. I cannot even. <laughs> oh, so pretty. Oh my god. They're all super pigmented that I don't really need to add layers. I just need to blend them out and then they all blend so perfectly together. Okay, now I kind of want to add my Ubers here. Or my rides here, sorry. My Ubers here. The black one. And I actually have a matte black shade from Jeffrey already, which is from the Alien palette. Um, but they said that this is sort of different. I don't know how different. I'm just gonna put it here, tuck it in. Oh yeah, I like that. I really want to play on more shades. I don't know if I should, should I? Oh my god. First, let us sweep the fallout. Ugh. Let's go with like sleep paralysis on, I don't know, the lower lash. I kind of want to put Diet Cola right beside that so it's just a bit more brighter than sleep paralysis. Ooh. As much as I want to play with more shades, I think I'm gonna stop right there because it's already so beautiful. I really love how this whole thing turned out. I just love it. I really do. So I'm just going to apply liner and mascara and I will get back to you with a fully complete eye look. I am done with the look. Finally popped on some lashes and some mascara. I also did the lips. I'm actually using the shade Nathan, which is my favorite nude of all. Sorry about the sounds everywhere today. It's just not, not my day when it comes to filming. I am really happy how this turned out. I can't wait to play more with the palette. There are so much looks I want to do. If you want to see some of the looks, probably I'll show it in my Instagram or my Insta stories. So make sure to follow me on Instagram at KDOTD. I'm also going to have an IGTV that I would that's relating to the conspiracy palette. So go ahead and check that out. I can't even believe that I got the palette. And yeah, I will have like a related video to this with my sister uh, to get ready with me in that video i might be using the mini controversy so that i could also give that one a chance don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and i will see you on the next video bye